such a lovely pe piece of music. Truly unique. Let's put it over Johnson City and see what the city thinks of the music. Right on. <laughs> Johnson City could not care less. And that is, in, in a nutshell, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to say it. Uh, let's go to us. There we go. Hey. Here we are. Here we are again. Believe it or not. I'm sneaking out the music. Sneaky. It's gone. How about that? Uh, you know, we've been I've been dumping it on uh, using YouTube, and it would it would play a little bit. I mean, I like that piece of music. I think it's nice and bouncy, and I, I really dig it. But it, when when YouTube does it, it's like da da da. You cut it off. It stops. It ceases, and that's that's jarring. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> enough about how it's made. Welcome to hometown East Tennessee. Episode mm -hmm. 9, it is September 28th, yep. 2017, mm -hmm. and uh, let's do a quick recap of what we do every week. We're really getting the hang of this thing, uh, you know? I know. Uh, every week we uh, kind of meet here and Bailey and I will uh, talk about, well, whatever we feel like talking about, as long as it involves what's going on here in town. Usually we cover the entertainment and we try to keep it happy and, and upbeat. Yeah. Sometimes things bug us. And that's a whole nother thing. Yep. It's, th that's entire profanity-ridden rants that we will get to, hopefully not tonight, but... Who th knows? They're coming. Right. One day, I mean, I'm going to get set off. We're both tucking into some, you know... <laughs> that's right. Alcohol. He's got, like, a bottle of wine hidden <laughs> under the desk. Um, he thinks I don't know about it, but I saw it. I really thought I could so. sneak it in. Mm -mm. but uh, Can't sneak wine past Bailey. As always, we start off with, with what we're drinking. Again, cheap Mexican beer is how we're starting tonight. Cheap wine. Mm. Which is actually reasonable. It's like $3. Oh, that's awesome. So it's it tastes okay for being $3. For $3. It's the, it's the Kroger brand. You can't see it. Oh. I can't seem to get it. I had it. a bad Favorite. experience with one of those. One, the Pinot I don't remember Grigio which one. is about the only one that you can buy that is reliably mediocre i'll give that a try <laughs> but it's three dollars so quickly if, i'm in and here i go already talking about a different city i'm in Asheville a lot they got the trader vicks let's go to trader vicks in john city by trader the way joe's? trader joe's sorry trader, <laughs> trader, trader vicks. no trader vicks is in <laughs> trader vicks is a tiki bar my mistake <laughs> i get my i get my traders mixed up trader joe's uh the it used to be two buck chuck now it's Three buck chuck. <laughs> Aldi is supposed to have cheap wine too. That's reasonable. I can't good. wait till we have a dang Aldi. We again. do have an Aldi. It's it's been uh, torn up for about oh gosh three weeks now. Well, they were open for a while while they were torn up. Uh, they were. It was gutted the last time I That's the last so week weird. or so. It's gutted. I mean, there is nothing inside. Yeah. It's it's closed down. They had to. Huh. I can't believe they just opened why. this. What a year ago, maybe. Yeah. They opened uh, the Aldi here in Johnson City, yeah. and now they're completely renovating it, the inside. They pulled out so all the fixtures, odd. the walls. I well, saw you know it when they I dropped wonder, the floor. I wonder if it's maybe Americans, or no, not Americans, I mean, maybe people in this area don't like that um, they're... Their left-handed store? <laughs> their, Is uh, that what you call it? I don't know. Um, the, how do you describe that? When I was in Europe, a lot, well, in, in Germany, a lot of the stores are like that. Of course, Germany is where Aldi and Trader Joe's come from, but it's it sort of forces you to go a certain way. Well, also, it's completely chaotic. You'll find the beans next to the graham crackers sometimes. I think the problem is, I think that's people. Oh. I think that's people just being <laughs> assholes uh, and not putting stuff back where it should go. Um... <laughs> But anyhow, anyhow, forgot to mention, uh, we have it's Bailey and me and you, the chat room. Yes. And already we've got uh, my buddy Jason from Bristol. Hey, Jason. Uh, he's on. He says Bristol's listening. Great to have you with us, Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody else in the chat room uh, that wants to say hi, feel free to just drop us a line and we'll, uh, we'll if do a you shout out to don't, you. Don't. We're going to assume you're just stalking. Yeah. And I can give you tips for that. We can do uh, stalking tips a little later on. Stalking tips. Yeah. yeah. No, not really. Not really. Don't stalk. That's bad. Don't stalk. No. It's creepy. 
So, I was out of town a lot last week. I didn't yeah. really get it. We covered a lot of stuff. I didn't really get in much of anything because I yeah. was gone all weekend. And then uh, this week, uh, again, we're here in the apartment. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're just joining us for the first time, sometimes we get out of the apartment. Do we travel interviews. around. Uh, we've been to uh, John City Brewing. Mm -hmm. We've been to uh, Main, Main Street, Street Pizza. Pizza. Uh, I've been so busy the last I few know. weeks. I just don't have time to kind of get yeah. it together. And then you got to test in advance and do all this stuff to get it uh, get it going it's so, a big to do yeah so we've been we've been here comfortably in the apartment lately yeah. but i think we've really been refining what we're trying right. to do we've been uh we've, working on it let's be honest we've finally written stuff down yeah we've finally gotten to the point <laughs> where we actually do work except for me this week i did not well, technically <laughs> when she says we she means me yeah yeah he did work <laughs> no 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 i'm glad to do it uh, i did work last week absolutely all I did was uh, copy down what we had already mentioned on the Hometown Facebook page. Check out Hometown East Tennessee on Facebook if you haven't already. <laughs> Jason. He's always posting stuff. Jason, ha, 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 stalking. Yes, I am. I, I found that people that follow me on Facebook got sick of my constant uh, mental regurgitation because that's a whole other story I'm not going to get into. Uh I've always collected information and shared it with people way before there was social networking. And so with show, social networking, I get to disseminate it, and people get sick of that, so I started breaking it up into pieces, and all my local information now, anything that I think, oh, that's interesting, my friends would like this, goes to the hometown page. Perfect. And like today I shared something. Uh, I guess... Oh, I saw the candle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't load it up at this moment, Aww. but go to the hometown uh, East Tennessee Facebook page, uh, scroll down just a little bit, and this is a funny meme. I love local yep. memes. You don't see enough it's, of them. I want. I want to know who made that. <laughs> right from Kingsport um. Humor's uh, Facebook page, <laughs> they shared it. It's a picture of a Yankee candle, uh, and it says, "Finally, a gift for the relatives that have moved away." Yankee candle, Kingsport flavor. It's got a picture of Eastman on there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I always thought Kingsport is such a nice city. Like, it looks so pretty. Like, the little houses and the... There are a lot of really nice areas. But you you get upwind of Eastman and... Yeah, and I have a... You know... <laughs> pretty bad. Not that I would rank the Tri-Cities, but I'm in Kingsport second most of all three. <laughs> and uh, I've always had a good time in Kingsport. I used to work yeah, down there great. a lot. And you'll learn the... The variations on the smells of Kingsport. Yeah. It's like it's overcast. It's gonna be rough. <laughs> you can't escape. Yeah, it's, it's it's like it's like somebody's hot box yeah. in the whole city right there. It's uh it's oh awkward. Uh, joining us in the chat room, DJ Ray. Hey Chris, welcome DJ back, Ray. DJ Ray. I always do that. <laughs> Jason says every time I go, I forget the smell until I open my door. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way it works. About right. Uh, but like the locals say, that's the smell of money. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Yeah, for better or worse. I know. I was just trying to decide. I was like, am I going to? No. It's I fine. mean, and, and plenty of people have survived Kingsport over the years in the smell. So we're good. We love Kingsport. Actually, I, I want to go and talk to some folks in Kingsport. We, we okay. talked with Jamie at Main Street Pizza. Yeah. They've got that Kingsport store that is yeah. fantastic. Which I still haven't been to. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful little place. They really outdid themselves yeah. on that. And there's a, there are a few other places. I, I, I did a gig. I did a murder mystery at mm -hmm. a place called Bank. B-A-N-Q. Mm -hmm. And it's an old bank uh, right on the corner of Broad and Center, I think. Yeah. You go upstairs, and they have a dining room, mm -hmm. and where the uh, the station is for the servers, mm -hmm. where, they, where they get drinks and uh, napkins and silverware and stuff, it's an old bank vault. That's cool. It's got the heavy door with the yeah. tumblers on it. It's, of course, been Super locked cool. open, but it's really neat yeah. looking. That's really, really cool. I gotta go. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm drifting away into mm -hmm. a different, a different tri-city. <laughs> Jason, and cancer. It's probably cancer, right? We, I mean... We never said that in any legally binding way. No. Uh, I wish our I wish our council was in the chat room tonight so we could ask. I her. know. Um, <laughs> well, I will say though, if you start growing like a tail or an extra limb, probably get that checked out. And that's awesome. Yeah. So let us take know. advantage of it. I mean, if you get superhero powers, who's yeah. complaining? Who's complaining now? Kingsport says. Go go <laughs> go swim in the river right next to Eastman with and great see power. See, see if you grow anything. Grow any great power. Yeah, do not do that in any legally uh, <laughs> responsible, uh, in any legal way re reflecting on us. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's probably bad for don't, you. Don't, do not even touch that water. 
Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, I thought I had a... Uh, I did do one thing, and uh, it was, uh, I had Monday to myself, Mm -hmm. and uh, Verbal and I, uh, I was out of town, I didn't get Verbal until really late Monday. Usually Mm -hmm. I get Verbal on a Sunday afternoon, I hadn't seen him in an extra day, and so Mm -hmm. I wanted to hang out with my dog. So we met uh, our buddy Biller, Biller was in the chat room a few times uh, for our first few, he works on Thursdays now, so he has trouble getting in here. Uh, But he had had a cancellation at work, so he had been able to come with me, and we went down to Pints Pints and Lights at the Atlantic Ale House, yeah, which uh, that's the big to do you've seen uh, on our uh, on our hometown graphic. Uh, I, guess, I guess we can go to it on our hometown graphic, the Johnson City sign. And so, what they had done was they're having a preview lighting. Uh, so, Atlantic Ale House, you know, uh, had celebrity uh, bartenders. Uh, celebrity. I mean, how celebrity could they be if they're not us? I don't. I don't think they asked us. Just um, saying. Maybe maybe we're so big that they thought that's you know they were intimidated. Yeah, they they're were like intimidated. they're not going to come. That's it. That's obviously why they uh, why they did not talk to me at all. I'm no. pretty sure that's I'm why. Uh, but it it was I mean it was a good time. Let's let's talk about the great things about it. Yes. Uh, Biller and, Biller was already there and he had me a table outside on a picnic table. Nice. Uh, I ran into our buddy Jamie uh, Dove mm-hmm. and I ran into Elise uh, mm-hmm. Main Street Pizza. I ran into the owners, uh, David, and the rest of the owners. There's, there's quite a few owners at Atlantic Ale House. That's why they didn't ask you. Right. And I, I said hi to them real quick. Uh, ran into, I mean, so many people I knew. But, yeah. uh, uh, okay. And so I was, hung out with Biller a while. Yeah. Uh, Verbal was being really, really good. He kept okay. ducking under the picnic table. Aww. And, and uh, people were, were uh, petting him. And he was eating up mm-hmm. the attention. Uh, our friend Danny showed up. Oh, yeah. She sat down with us for a little while. We chatted. Yeah. We we chatted a lot, waiting for dark to come, because at dark, they were going to light the Johnson City sign. Yeah. Now, uh, Biller is a surveyor for the city, so he had a lot of really interesting inside information that he gave me while I was there. One of the things is they were worried that the, the sign was so bright that it might cause troubles. They had done a test lighting. In what the, kind of trouble? In the wee hours of the morning, they had done yeah. a test lighting last month, and it was so bright that it lit up all of the grass and the Atlantic Ale House, and it lit up all this stuff. And yeah. so uh, there was concern that it was just putting off too much light to be legal <laughs> in oh. city limits because there's a there's a and and he didn't say say it in this way, but right. there is a, a legal. Uh, stipulation in town that a sign can only be so bright right and so he was he was really excited to see how much this would light up the other thing he told me and i thought this to me was the best thing and i should have loaded up the photos i'm going to put the photos on the hometown facebook page you'll be able to see these he said that they had paid oh i wish he was here i can't remember how much he said that they had paid in the sidewalks that go through the new king's common Mm -hmm. king's common is that right I think it's King King's Common Park. <laughs> the uh, the path that goes through the park itself is embedded with these little glow in the dark pebbles. Ah. And so uh, when you when you walk around, uh, these pebbles uh, are just the most amazing little constellations. Yeah. Like you're looking up at the stars, and I really really like that. That's uh, really really cool. Let's see if I can call it up. No, nope, but I didn't tag it right, so it doesn't show up on my Facebook. But um, uh, but still, it was really fascinating because yeah. you have to get in a dark place. And Biller's like, well, yeah. I hope that sign's not so bright yeah. that we can't see the glow in the dark and right. uh, pebbles embedded. I was like, wow, Biller, what kind of light is this going to be? So ran into a bunch of people. Now, I have to touch on the bad things. The line to get a beer. I saw the picture. Was out the door all the way down to uh, Market Street. Yeah. And... These are celebrity bartenders. <laughs> These are not, not professional bartenders. bartenders. <laughs> I never got a beer the whole night. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I had verbal, so yeah. I couldn't get in line. Right. And Biller would get in line, and he would wait. Yeah. And he would see people going around the end of the bar. Yeah. You know, there's a line. Yeah. And then there were the, apparently the super VIPs there, just going to the end of the bar and getting their beers and getting their beers and getting their beers, and the line was not moving. Yeah. And so it was just a really incredibly long line. So eventually I ran into a, a friend. She gave me her beer. Oh, that's nice. But um, that was 
the only real thing that yeah. bugged me. So the moment comes, and here we go. It's the sign lighting moment. Yeah. They've got the they're up on a on a chair. They got the bullhorns. Yeah. And all of the celebrity bartenders are hanging around. Celebrity bartenders were largely bankers. Yeah. And doctors. There were two people I recognized. Right. Mm-hmm. People that were very familiar. What was there? Tyler Parsons and David Tamita. Those are the two. Uh, a lot of the I people recognize. that had been instrumental in raising money for yeah. the sign, and that was the point of the whole thing. Yeah. They were selling uh, merchandise for the sign. They were selling beers for the sign. Uh, you know, but they weren't really doing a lot. Mm. Uh, I'm an MC. <laughs> there are other things you can do to really yeah. increase your your intake right. in a fundraiser. But you know, they were just there to have a good time. Cool. Uh, so it's dark. Here we go. Thirty in about two minutes, and so. Uh, we're looking at the sign. It's like, yeah. Biller's like, now maybe don't look right at it. So, Biller. <laughs> and so, it's like, two, ten, nine, eight, two, one. <laughs> it's a beautiful sign. Yeah. It's not bright. It's not bright at all. Yeah. It's actually, to me, just right. Yeah. The Johnson City lights up on yeah. it. And that's it. In fact, uh, nice. again, go to uh, go to the hometown page. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to come across um, there it is. an article by the, from the Johnson City Press. Mm-hmm. And there's a photo right there. You don't even have to click on it. There's a photo of mm-hmm. the Johnson City sign. Uh, it looks great. I yeah. mean, it's a, a very fine-looking sign. My buddy Biller was like, well, they, they should have lit up the top a little bit or put yeah. a little light on the bottom. Uh, and maybe. But maybe, but it looks fine. I think it looks fine as it is. It really works. It's not like yeah. that's... That's not the gateway to Johnson City, that street. That's just a a, a side street that happened to have a sign they needed to reclaim on it. But that's cool. I mean... Yeah, it is cool. I'm glad they reclaimed it. Yeah, the the park, those... um, The park is super cool, too. They have these big uh, stone walls, retaining walls, uh, benches that kind of... With the lights. With solid lights all the way around it. It looks really striking, really really nice. It looks really nice. And it looks like somewhere you could walk. Like, if you're walking your dog at night... It looks like a place that... Which is really, really funny because I've been walking my dog down there since mm-hmm. the old block was there. Since McLean yeah. Street was still empty buildings. Yeah. And that is that is the just about the single most sketchy place that used yeah. to be on our late night walks. Yeah. I wouldn't go down there after a while because yeah. there's always somebody lurking in a doorway or something like that. Yeah. And now Park, Atlantic Ale House... Uh, you, they've they've started putting in the uh, amphitheater. They've yep. got the little circle there, that and up the hill towards the library, that's going to be the seating for the amphitheater. Yeah. All this really nice stuff. They did a really really fine job. I had a good time. I mean, except for not being able to get a beer, but <laughs> but honestly, that's almost to be expected at such a big event. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's yeah. rewind just a little bit. Uh, Jason said about we were talking about Kingsport. Uh, he says there's an awesome beer store called the Beer Run, uh, Papas and Beer, which is uh, Asheville place. Uh, what am I? It's really great in Asheville. The one that came to Johnson City did not last, but it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, the one in Johnson City wasn't anywhere near as good as the ones in Asheville. Uh, Model City Tap House, I love. I really dig Model City Tap House. Although, as a former AV guy, <laughs> their beer is on a big uh, projector. Yeah. I'm like, good grief! Do they realize how much <laughs> those lamps run? And, of course, uh, he, he mentions Gypsy Circus Cider, uh, which I haven't been there, but they have the greatest um, they have the greatest acts show up there. Well, um, and John City Brewing often has guest taps by them. That's right. And I've had some really good That's right. Ones. I've had their apple, which was yeah. fantastic. The pear was really good. I think good. they have a cherry tart. I've been trying to catch that cherry tart. I want to try that. I think I'd love it. Can you scooch over? Yes. A teeny tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we have slowly been man spreading me. I don't mean to. uh, (laughs) I don't mean to. It's always all right to nudge me right back. (laughs) I'm look at me. I weigh like nine pounds. You can do it. (laughs) I believe in you. I'll get I'll get the uh, wine strength. (laughs) That's right. She starts brawling here Mm -hmm. a bit. Well, I did didn't go to the sign lighting because I was. Hanging out with Stephen and Stephanie, who are getting married this weekend. Yes. Um, and I, I uh, may or may not have stolen this from them. Ooh, 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 ooh. wait, wait, let's get this. Yeah, now I've Make got sure it, it's on screen. See. Sorry. This is the tiniest little thing of uh, moonshine. It's like a moonshine had a baby. I wish it would uh, 
I know it's like a little bit. It's a little baby, and it'll grow up to be a whole jar. Let's rip its head off and I drink know, it. I know. I know. We could try it. It's what flavor? What flavor is this one? Hunch Punch. Hunch Punch, punch White Lightning. Oh, now so this it's is not fr- like. Let's and see. this is from. Uh, this is from Gatlinburg Old Pigeon Smoky. Forge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Old Smoky Moonshine, which is my personal favorite legal moonshine. Ooh, thank you. Place their apple pie. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells like Hunch Punch. I've never had a Hunch Punch. Mm. What? You never mm. had Hunch Punch? People call it different things. That's really good. Yeah, it tastes like fruit punch. It's just a, yeah. with a burn. It's just fruit punch. Yeah. Um, Delicious. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Um, yeah, it's a... Surely you've been to a Hunch Punch party. I, I don't know that we called it Hunch Punch. The, the term there might not have been inter- invented by then. There People, every every city seems to have three different names for yeah. it. Hunch Punch is when you like get Everclear, and then you just get a ton of fruit and put it in like oh, a trash yeah. can. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's just Hunch Punch. Uh, we called it... Uh, Oh, we had a bunch of names for it. Uh, yeah. We we had we had to have tiki parties, and it was called Jungle Juice at that point. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do for, not eat the fruit. Good tip, kids. No. Do not eat the fruit. Honestly, just don't drink Hunch Punch, <laughs> unless it's this Hunch Punch. That's probably good advice. Um. And this is really it's really tasty. Yeah. It, it kind of has a medicine aftertaste. But, it does but the have flavor a teeny is good. Tiny, I mean, yeah, a little bit. It does taste a little bit like rob- Robitussin. That's all right. <laughs> you <laughs> just keep drinking; good. it'll stay. It'll stay mm-hmm. good. And that's uh, Old Smoky. Also, is related to Johnson City in that <gasps> they own Yahoo, Br- Yeehaw Brewing. Yeehaw. Sorry, yes. not, not Yahoo. Not that's Yahoo. a milky drink. Uh, but Yeehaw Brewing is owned by no. Old... Yoohoo is the drink. Yoohoo Yahoo is the milky is drink. A, is an internet. Oh my god! Thing. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know. What but I'm yeah, they own. <laughs> they own. They own whatever that brewery right? is downtown. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Right on. Yeah. And uh, it's oh. good stuff. They started them off with a very similar aesthetic for yeah. their stuff. It really worked. Well, speaking of, uh, my 10-year high school reunion was at Yeehaw Saturday. Oh. And I went for about 15 minutes. <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> was it, I mean, good times? Was, did you run into anyone you were glad to see? I, I, not specifically. Yeah. There's no one, I, I mean, not that I wasn't happy to see people, but they were all people I didn't even know that well in high school. Right. So it didn't, like, it didn't even really make sense to stick around and talk. Because it wouldn't be like, oh, we're catching up. It would be like, oh, maybe as adults we'll become friends. It's getting <laughs> acquainted. Like, right, it would be getting acquainted. Yeah. And I remember, I was just like, after 15 minutes, I went to the bar. I was like, maybe I'll get another beer, you know, start chatting. And I got to the bar and I was like, no. <laughs> that's I'm about, just going to go home. That's about <laughs> two-thirds of my social interactions. Mm-hmm. Fat cheerleaders. DJ <laughs> Ray. Uh, held for he review. He said Everclear and, and Fruit. And then his next his next comment got held for review. And uh, here, there you go. You can see it. Yeah. He, for some reason, he said fat cheerleaders. And I mean, for for at my high school, it was the skinny cheerleaders. But <laughs> oh, oh, I understand. I see. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, I ended up at my, I think I said this uh, when we were talking about this before, at my, my high school reunion, I ended up just connecting with absolutely anyone and everyone yeah. for some reason, and uh, I got acquainted with them again, mm-hmm. and we had the best time, and yeah. we've actually remained friends. The people that were popular and not in my world in yeah. high school became my friends over time. Cool. Yeah, it's odd how that works. Poor Verbal, he's got an itch that he just can't scratch over there. over there. <laughs> Um, oh, we haven't even gotten to what's coming up in this week. Uh, also, uh, I shared. Okay, I have to come clean, and I was a, I was the victim here too. I, I had nothing to do with no, it. No, Bailey had nothing to do with this. Because I don't do any work. Sometimes I get. <laughs> <laughs> See, she has an alibi. Uh, I posted on the hometown page uh, that the uh, what did what did they call it? The international. Uh, the international. Uh, Clown Festival was coming to Johnson City in 2018. This is not true. This is a hoax. Uh, at that moment, I fell for fake news. It came from what I thought was a reputable source, but it turned out to be a reputable source that was taking a piss, as they say in England. <laughs> he was just totally messing with us, and eventually uh, uh, he contacted me, and he said, look, I wrote that. If you click at yeah. the top of that page, the link that we provide on Hometown, I left it. Uh, if you click on the the top of that link, it'll take you to a page that allows you to write your own newspaper. 
Nice. So it's obviously fake yeah. news. It's I didn't look. I did not investigate like I should, and I will from now on. But he told me this is fake, and I was like, "Oh, that's hilarious!" And then I shared it on my own private page, <laughs> just because I thought it was funny. <laughs> so that was. I mean, a total honestly, hoax. I I saw it, and then I thought, "Well, yeah, maybe." Yeah. Honestly, at this point, <laughs> I should have known because I have a friend that's in the World Clown Association, mm-hmm. which is the actual. World yeah. Clown Association. There is no International Clown Association. Why didn't she like message you and say this is? Uh, well, I did link that to my friend, the Scary Clown in yeah. Charlotte, and and he's just called the Clown. He's got a dead eye and he wears purple and runs haunted houses. And I was like, Clown, you have an opportunity to have the World Scary Clown Convention in Johnson City, Tennessee. Yeah. So I'm hoping that my friend, uh, the Clown from Charlotte, will uh, yeah. bring all of his scary clown friends to downtown Johnson City and we can have a great big scary clown fest. Fantastic. I, I love scary clowns. Some of my best friends are scary clowns. I should I should get the clown on the show one night. He's from Charlotte, but he's a clown. But he's a clown. Yeah, he's got a dead eye. Don't look into it. Is it a real dead eye? Don't look into his eye. Uh, what else we got coming up? Uh, oh, this is exciting. I thought this was real exciting. Uh, Johnson City Press reported that Skillville is coming to downtown Johnson City. Now... I don't know if you're if if you and and the folks watching are familiar with maker spaces and maker mm-hmm. fairs, but it's really become popular in the last five ten years. That's where people get together, hobbyists that like building things mm-hmm. get together and build cool mm-hmm. stuff. That's a, a maker fair. Yeah. I, I've hosted several maker fairs over the years. Yeah. Uh, they have competitions where they make uh, these small, powerful, battery-powered cars that go 30 miles an hour, and I called the race for those, and they build drones yeah. on their own. Uh, in uh, Nashville, they have a Star Wars builders club that builds droids, so they build little, little R2-D2s and yeah. BB-8s, an actual BB-8 that runs. That's cool. Well, in Johnson City now, we don't have a Maker fair, and we don't really have that brand, but these folks at Skillville are opening up uh, it's a subscription a subscription place they're going to have metalworking tools mm-hmm. woodworking tools uh, sh- it's it's shop yeah <laughs> you subscribe to it you can go down there anytime you want and you can work on whatever you're tinkering together uh, now that's gonna, awesome they're not only providing the tools they're going to provide the training that's they're going to provide cool. classes in case you don't oh, know how to do something so there's jewelry making uh, letter press soap making so it's not just like woodworking no they're not just providing a wood shop yeah they're providing a complete set of tools this is i that's super cool i knew nothing about it until right. 20 seconds ago and the cool thing is what about these people that are trying to find a new job? They mm-hmm. don't have those skills for the trades. Yeah. Because, you know, you learn computers in school, you yeah. learn all this stuff. The trades are kind of downplayed yeah. anymore, which is which breaks which is my a problem. heart. Absolutely. Well, yeah, there are tons of uh, uh, articles coming out now saying it, it's a legit economic problem. Right. Uh, and, and just, I came from a family of tradesmen, so mm-hmm. they were all carpenters and mechanics yeah. and... When I went into, uh, I went into television, and that's the look I got. The look I just gave myself. I went to television, and they're like, "Well, when are you going to get a real job?" I'm like, "No, this is it. This is yeah. designing this stuff and yeah. and connecting these this equipment is what I do." They just could not wrap their brain around <laughs> it. And over the years, I was running back to them because the yeah. trade side of what I do became more important than yeah. the the technical side of what I do. Yeah. If I hadn't had those resources, I would be I would be unemployed right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, so this is a great resource coming to Johnson City, and it just might be fun. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. Is honestly, there's so many things like woodworking stuff. Like there are tons of projects I have that I want to do, but I live. I mean, this is a huge. Uh, technologically advanced compound. Right. I mean, it goes down several miles under right. the city. Right. But my particular part of the compound is uh, is not equipped for making furniture. It's not specialized. It's not specialized. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. My question is, and they don't answer it in the article, is are they going to have a source of raw materials? Are they going to have lumber? Are they going to have metal? That's a good question. Are they, are they going to have fabrication uh, stuff? Uh, Jason in the chat room, I literally office-spaced my life, seven years in a call center, and now I work in construction. Mm-hmm. 
CNC woodworking on the side. That's right, and and Jason has a very elaborate woodworking uh, setup. It's beautiful nice. stuff. It just it basically yeah. prints out beautiful uh, stuff. So, uh, feel free to link us to your uh, yeah. your woodworking stuff in the chat room there, Jason. And I'll, I'll make sure to mention it. Jason plays D and D with me. Oh, um. yeah, he's all right. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought that Skillville was something that I, it's that is super cool. A lot of cool stuff comes downtown. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that'll be neat. Like Silverball City, I was like, yeah. yes, arcade. But uh, it's rare that I go Skillville. I'm thinking of all these things that I can yeah. accomplish, these practical things. I mean, I need lots of shelves, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I could have the uh, ability to uh, to do that. Yeah, I mean, I just like the idea of. So I am an impatient person, and I like there are projects I want to do. Um, that aren't even complicated projects. They're just like, I want a shelf for my rabbit's food. <laughs> right. Like, stupid stuff like that. But it's stuff that you can't find online. And it's so cool to be able to know how to make stuff. Right. Like, even simple, like, realizing, oh, if I want to sew a dress, it's not as hard as it seems. Like, if you said to me a year ago to sew a skirt, I would have been like, fuck I am <laughs> I have no idea how to do that but right. then as soon as you learn how to do it with you know woodworking I think is the same way and different things like that is, yeah. as soon as you know how to do it you go oh yeah, yeah. that any, makes sense <laughs> any skill like that my yeah. opinion any skill like that it's practice yeah. uh, you can you can do anything you think you don't have a, a skill for carpentry you obviously have not learned carpentry skills right <laughs> Once you learn the basic carpentry skills, it's just a matter of repetition and expanding that knowledge to do what you need to do. Yeah, and just and doing little projects till you do. I yeah, mean. so I'm going to keep track of uh, Skillville. Maybe one day we can talk to him if I ever get time to get out of the apartment again. I like how when I have my cup like this, it makes me look like a pig or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, just just hold it like that for the, through the rest of the show. That's my Halloween costume. <laughs> the Skillville Makerspace. Look them up. Yeah. Uh, oh, our buddy Eric. Eric! Let's go take a look at his page. Now, if, in case you haven't uh, joined us uh, in a while, mm -hmm. our buddy Eric, uh, if you're a fan of uh, Johnson City Brewing... Uh, he and his Eric. wife, Kat, own Johnson City Brewing. And Eric has been walking across Tennessee. And, mm -hmm. uh, For St. Jude's. Check it out. We're actually downtown Johnson City right now. And I'm here to tell you I just like showing off my technology. I know, clearly. In a few weeks, I'm about to attend. So Eric took off walking across to the sea to raise money for St. Jude. Uh, again, every week we've mentioned it. We, I, I, I think last week I missed the update. I'd, I'd made notes, but I forgot to mention it. And Eric is now almost at the end of his journey. He's almost to Memphis. Uh, if you go to their page, walkacrosstennessee.org, mm -hmm. you can also uh, donate to St. Jude there. Uh, you'll find uh, his progress yeah. uh, across Tennessee. Actually, I mean, we could just show uh, it real that's quick. That's true. How about that? Let's take a look at it. He has gone all the way from yeah. Mountain City, Tennessee. On foot. On foot. Yeah, his rules. He had two rules. He cannot at any point accept a ride. Yeah. And he cannot drink any beer. Oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't know that rule. Yeah. Those are his only two rules. Oh, my God. And he started in Mountain City at the North Carolina border. Mm -hmm. And he has broken it up into these segments. You can see them here. And He's got just three more. today was day 34. Uh, he walked from Brownsville, Tennessee to Somerville, 20, Tennessee. 26 miles he, Shoo, he walked boy. today. He walked 26 miles yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, before that, he took it easy. He's like 12 miles. Yeah, well, take it easy. <laughs> and then tomorrow, uh, no no wonder, uh, day 35, uh, he's going to walk another 10. Yeah. But then uh, days 36 and 37, 21 miles until Sunday, he's going to walk into Memphis yep. and have a beer. <laughs> yep. That's what he keeps saying. He's been doing these great updates. If you go to, uh, if you follow Eric on uh, Facebook, uh, you can see his updates yeah. where he's just uh, every day at noon. Thank goodness it's noon. I've, I've been watching while I, know, I eat lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he does a little update and kind of gives an idea of his, the mental game that he's playing. Yeah. Talking about his toenails have fallen off. And <laughs> he's uh, had to have no. uh, some wraps uh, on his feet. He's, he's He's not... He's physically... He's hurting, but he's yeah. doing okay. Mentally, it seems to be yeah. the big thing. He's, well, he, I think that's what he mentioned on our podcast but, right. or on the stream before is that... It, yeah, it's really not going insane is the trick. Right. <laughs> so physical stuff's 
you know, manageable. But. In fact, today, oh, here I go, going off, going off the reservation. Uh, his wife. I just thought this was. Oh, hilarious. I did too. Uh, I just thought this was uh, hilarious, and it's worth taking just a moment. Uh, he got in trouble with his wife today. <laughs> a cat who's been his uh, his command and control. She's been. Um, uh, uh, taking care of the accommodations and, and kind of managing here we go managing his trip across the state uh she posted this today latham you have some splaining to do <laughs> if you can't see that little uh that little red shirt is him walking is across what i can only guess is a Bridge it, it's an unbuilt bridge it's the supports <laughs> of a bridge uh, her her hashtags Risk taking husbands, only you. Who needs a bridge when girders will work? <laughs> and good thing I love you so much. So, Eric got in trouble today. <laughs> Serves him right for leaving her with the kids and a and a brewery. That's right. She's been running things, and I wanted to talk Ooh, to her. Sorry. I wanted to talk to her this week, but she had to leave for Nashville today. Yeah. So there wasn't a chance to talk to Cat. Yeah. If if she had been available. Uh, we would have gone down to Johnson City Brewing and definitely talked to Cat. But uh, I'm going to try. Eric, during his live uh, feed on Wednesday, said that he's interested in maybe doing an interview with us uh, on Sunday uh, from Memphis, yeah. live from Memphis. Bailey's going to be gone. That was bad I might, planning. I might be back on time. <laughs> right. It kind of depends on. It kind of depends on uh, when he does it. So I'm going to get yeah. with Eric and, you know, keep an eye on your YouTube. Keep an eye on the hometown page on Sunday. Yep. Uh, when I find out uh, we're going to interview Eric, I'll make sure to put a, a a blast out there and let everybody know that it's coming up, and we'll be doing an extra episode this week, uh, just talking to Eric and Cat. Uh, I'm hoping Cat will join him about good. how uh, how the trip went. Yeah, it's a mo it's a, a staggering yeah task to yeah, walk I mean, that far. And I think I mentioned this before um, when we were talking about it, but to put it in perspective. Where we are now, John City, Tennessee, is closer to Canada than it is Memphis. Right. Um, so just to put that, I mean, Tennessee yeah. is long. It, it's, it's closer <laughs> really to long. Atlanta. It's closer to Cincinnati. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tennessee's a big state, and you don't really yeah. realize this until no, you're on your way to Memphis. and skinny. <laughs> and driving to Memphis is like, am I still driving to Memphis? I, I would never drive to Memphis. <laughs> There's great stuff in Memphis. I highly recommend. I didn't say I wouldn't go to Memphis. Yeah, yeah. I said I wouldn't drive to Memphis. I highly recommend Memphis, but boy, the only thing that keeps me from going more often is yeah. the thought of that that drive. It, and I so, wonder, are there walking. cheap flights? Uh, maybe. It's possible. I don't think uh, Allegiant, the local cheap airline, goes there. In fact, that's a mm -hmm. whole other thing we need to talk about yes. one day. Uh, how you can fly out of here cheap uh, using Allegiant. And I mean fly, cheap. fly not just around, out of here. Um, fly out of Knoxville right. and Asheville with Allegiant. Knoxville and uh, Asheville have more routes than we do. But right. I fly Allegiant all the time. Yeah, me um, too. I mean, why not? I'm, like, in, I'm in Orlando a lot. So yeah. anytime I'm going to Orlando, it's oh, cheaper yeah. to fly than oh. it is to drive. Yeah. I, it, yes. <laughs> it was a pretty good time, especially when my buddy uh, Donnie has to pick me up and drive me around. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I haven't liked, I went to a Orlando once with Allegiant, and I was supposed to go on a Friday afternoon, and uh, my flight got canceled for the next morning, uh, or and rescheduled for the next morning. Oh. Got there, I had to get there at like 7 in the morning, and um, everyone was asking what had happened, why it had been canceled, it hadn't been clear. Someone in the Orlando Sanford airport um, driving one of those little refueling cars or something had hit the wing with the car. Oh, Maybe it was man. a staircase car. I don't know. It was yeah, some type of I bet of it was a staircase vehicle. car. I've heard of that happening. Yeah, and hit the wing, and wow. they had to fix the wing. And it's one of those things where, I don't know if you've ever been on a plane when it's just been fixed. There's part of you that's like, did they fix it? Well, <laughs> anytime well I get on a plane, I'm like, it? I'm going to crash. I know. I do that, too. Every time. That's why That's why they have alcohol on Yes. Planes. Thank goodness. That's why I'm, I spend a little extra time at the bar before I get on the, on the plane. That's right. But yeah. back to Eric, mm. more great news. His goal was $10,000 yep. on Tuesday. They met their goal, and now they're just stretching it out. $13,645 yeah. collected so far for St. Jude. Yeah. You can still give. 
go to walkacrosstennessee.org. You can see it right here. Mm-hmm. Walkacrosstennessee.org. Check it out. Uh, support Eric yeah. and help out St. Jude and all the work. And that you can also there. go to St. Jude. St. Jude has a page for him where you can donate to directly right. to St. Jude for him. So, um, so you don't. If, if you're iffy about giving giving it at a random website, you don't have to do that. And don't um, worry. Even if we don't get to hook up with him and talk to him on Sunday, well, we're going back to Johnson City yeah. Brewing, and we are definitely going to sit down with Eric, and I want Kat to be there. Although, I know, I want although Kat I have a feeling there. Kat's going to be off on vacation for about a month As after this. she should be. And she's earned it. Oh, my God. <laughs> but uh, we're definitely going to talk to Eric yeah. about uh, and get kind of the, post, the post-trip the post interview yeah. from, from Eric as soon as we can. What else? Oh, the other big news coming up this week. Gosh, we... I've been talking too much. Um, <laughs> September 29th through 30th, that's this weekend, is the 2017 Emoja Festival. Yes. Have you been to an Emoja Festival? Yes. I really get a kick out of Emoja. It, not only is it usually a, a really good time, and yeah. I only say usually because a couple times, instead of downtown, it was over at the park, and yeah. although it was okay... Not the same as it's being not downtown. the same as being downtown. So nothing, and there's never been a problem with the festival. It's always so much fun, such great texture in the music and the and the sounds and the <laughs> and the food. Oh, you guys know me. It always comes back to always the food. Comes back to the food. It does, uh, but uh, Emoja has all of it. Uh, starts at six o'clock on Friday. Uh, mm-hmm. Calling of the drums with Res- Reverend Vincent Dial, which I thought was an interesting oh. phrase. I don't know what that means. But then uh, Zulu Connection and Shaka are going to be there, and that is great stuff. I think, I think that's just his name. Yeah, well, Zulu Connection and Shaka is the group. So uh, No, 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 Reverend Vincent Dial. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Calling of the Drums is what I meant was fascinating. Oh, I was like... I'm sorry, no. <laughs> I've actually like, met... Uh, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I've actually <laughs> met Reverend, Reverend Dial. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But, uh, Too much moonshine. Shortly after that, Zulu Connection and Shaka uh, perform, and that's some mm-hmm. great uh, traditional African dancing. You don't want to miss it. I mean, really. And then uh, Chris Dula on Friday night, mm-hmm. uh, the Billy Crawford band, guys. Uh, I am always saying I kind of like performance more than music anymore. The Billy Crawford band is the exception. He plays blues. Mm-hmm. He plays exceptional blues. He was a session musician for blues. some of the great blues guys. Uh, you want to catch the Billy Crawford band. I can't. I can't rave about him enough. Oh, I have a great time. No problem. I'm trying I'm to get comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we we kind of perch on the edge of I the know, couch here. Sometimes, so like that's why I end up spreading is because I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to find a, a comfortable way to uh, to sit. Just occasionally, my back's like, get mm-hmm. out of that position. <laughs> Stop <Yep>. that. <laughs> uh, but finishing off Friday night, Blue Blue Jackson. Uh, Free Flow and the Emoja Band, mm-hmm. which is no relation. <laughs> they're oh, out of really? Atlanta. Yeah, they're out of Atlanta. <laughs> uh, they play a wide variety of music, a- everything. They play yeah. funk and blues and and uh, hit covers and a few originals. Uh, that's the Emoja Band Friday. Saturday, uh, the parade, mm-hmm. which is great. I had a great time at the parade I went to. It's been several years ago now, but it was beautiful. Uh, then DJ Sterl, the Pearl, is eleven fifteen. Uh, the Watoto Dancers and Drummers uh, is going to be more traditional stuff uh, starting at noon. And then I think they trade off with uh, uh, Zulu Connection for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. Motown Downtown, which has to be good. I love Motown. The Lose Your Own Band, J. Marie Project Band, and the featured performer, who I am sorry I'm not familiar with, is DJ Unk, who apparently had a top uh, top 20. Oh, that's cool. I'm sorry. I don't know more about it, but I don't really listen to anything on the radio at all. And then, of course, ETSU is having the Digital Animation Festival that they mm-hmm. have every year. Uh, a, a good friend of mine teaches over there, and that stuff can really be amazing. Yeah. I know everybody's there for the festival, uh, but that Digital Animation yeah. Showcase is just amazing. Some of the stuff that these brand new people showing off their skills. Yeah, These are like final projects. Uh, they're, they're great. Uh, go to emoja.org. That's, I'm sorry. Oh, Apparently they had the same problem we did with the URLs, emojajc.org. <laughs> yes. If your name's taken, add and JC to it. Just to help you out, Emoja is U-M-O-J-A, just in case. That's right. And if you're lucky enough to be in the chat room right now, mm-hmm. here you go. That's where you'll find the schedule for Emoja. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Emoja is a great time. Um, I've only been like once or twice because I, for whatever reason... 
this weekend of the year. Right. And next weekend are weekends that I'm just summer's, out of town. Summer's wrapping up. Well, fall stuff is, is right. starting. Well, and what's funny go. is it's never the same thing. Yeah. It's just for whatever <laughs> reason, right. those two weekends, <laughs> I'm out of town. <laughs> Me, I spend most of my life missing everything because yeah. I'm announcing. So it's it's amazing that I've actually I've not taken a lot of stuff for this yeah. fall. Uh, I'm trying to do less of my volunteer work. Yes. Uh, trying to do more uh, professional stuff, so I, I, I can take my time and yeah. put it to other interests. Yeah. And I think that's really going to pay off more than my traveling. Before I forget, I'm supposed to give you a gift on air. On air? Oh, this can't be good. This can't end well for me. I mean, it might be like a Wiley e. Coyote <laughs> bomb. I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time that I... But I wanted to do it before I forgot, because okay. I, I forgot earlier... I got, I got to uh, change uh, to the camera thing so I can see it live. Here we go. Okay, pull. Oh, no explosion yet. There's nothing else in the bag. Nothing. And you can't tell me who this is from. I don't. I think. Uh, I think I can eventually. Okay. I think it's mostly just. Um, okay. You can guess it probably. Okay. Open it up and. Oh, far out! <laughs> is it is it a shot glass? Yeah, is it a wine glass? Could use it as both. Is it a shot glass? Is it a wine glass? Or is it an egg cup? It's an egg cup. <laughs> it's an egg cup. I'm, I'm gonna run and go play with my Instapot. You guys have fun talking with Bailey. Oh, hey, puppy, you want up here? He's like, I want a gift. Rebel's like, you you got something? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come here. <laughs> He's sniffing around. Oh, uh, the the dog shows up. So do you know? Uh, an egg cup. It has to be one of my Instapot friends because I was complaining about how I can now make uh, soft, boiled, soft eggs. boiled eggs, but I don't have an Instacup. So Ruby was telling me about Instacups, uh, or Inst about egg egg cups. Sorry, puppy, puppy in my lap. No attention span. Uh, I don't know who else besides Ruby would give me one. Who's left? Where am I going this weekend? Uh, you're going to a little gathering of friends. Uh, was it was it Stephen and Stephanie? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> they gave me an egg cup. She said you mentioned it to I her. I did. I did. That you didn't have an egg I cup. I never would have thought <laughs> that she would have remembered She's that. She's thoughtful that way. That's amazing. They're both thoughtful that way. I'm having a soft-boiled egg for breakfast. I wish they were in the chat room. I wish I hadn't covered up the chat room so that we could see if I they know. were. I know. Uh, uh, they Well, to be fair, their wedding is this weekend. And, and, and somebody gave them an egg cup. We're out of town. Right. Um, tomorrow through Sunday. So I'm sure they are... Oh, yeah. Making sure they I, have the, the last time I saw the friend Danny, she was like, I have to go work on wedding stuff. I can't stay yeah. here any longer. <laughs> she yeah. she jetted out real fast. Oh, man. <laughs> I know now. I for uh, When I was like 12, I entertained the idea of becoming a wedding planner. <laughs> I now know, and I'm going to be very clear, I didn't... I, pretty much did nothing for stephanie's wedding my friend our friend danny <laughs> did most of the most of the help work but now i'm like that never would have worked out <laughs> i am not meant for this sort of detail oriented work i can't work. imagine because <laughs> when i was in college i made money among other things shooting weddings mm -hmm. i shot video of weddings yep. i would don't ever ask me where i got the cameras but i would shoot weddings and I shot so many weddings for such crappy money. Yeah. And I had to deal with wedding directors. Professionals, just aunts and sisters and cousins. Yeah. And they're all tyrants. Yep. And they're all monsters. They all even, have their own ideas of what needs yeah. to happen and even how. If, even if they don't start off yeah. as tyrants and monsters, they become tyrants yeah. and monsters because that's the only way to get anything done. Now, I will, I will hand it to Stephanie. She has been a good... Um, she has not been a bridezilla. Well, that, she, well I've known many cool yeah. brides. That's because she's they a had cool a bride. monster of a wedding planner. I don't know her wedding. I've told her this most. I've told her this multiple times that her wedding has convinced me that 
um, if and when I finally get married, um, I'm just going to elope. There you go. <laughs> and then have a big party like a few months later. Like I'm not, this, none of this is all bullshit. <laughs> I'm ordained. No, it's not bullshit. I did a wedding a couple, I did a yeah. wedding last month. They planned it uh, starting at 4 p.m. Yeah. I had him. I had him married and out the yeah. door by eight. I mean, I want a bit. I want a wedding. It'd be nice, but it's just so, so much right. work. I don't get it. It's so much work. I'll just enjoy hers like it were mine. There you go. And then I'll take a ton of pictures. And I saw like. them on uh, on uh, the Facebook. Uh, they 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 already had the ceremony and stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> So no, there you ish. Go. I didn't. I don't know if Esk. that was allowed to. Actually, it was come just. Some, it was just some kind of dinner or something they were having. That's all I know. <laughs> that's that's all I know for sure. Anywho, Anywho. Uh, moving on to Demon Waffle. Have Demon Waffle been busy. Yep. Uh, coming up, uh, Founders After Five on Friday, September 29th. That's tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Demon Waffle performing in the park. They're going to have uh, every every Founders After Five uh, is uh, in the park. It's they set up great yeah. sound system. The pros do it. And Demon Waffle are there. They're going to be, I'm hoping Demon they're going to be playing some of their new music. I, every time I've seen Demon Waffle perform, they always just absolutely blow me away. Um, they're kind of what? Was, they're ska. I, I was about to say ska. They're but ska. Then, I, see, in high school, when I was in high school, ska was a big thing. But it also, I was also there when ska became a dirty word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I was... Has <laughs> I think there's like eleven waves of ska yeah. since 1950, yeah. <laughs> and that was e- even after years and years of ska already being around. But uh, Demon Wolf, I remember I They're saw their so first good. gig ever. Their first gig ever. I was working at ETSU. They were all ETSU yeah. students, and uh, I saw a ska band coming to the mm-hmm. hideaway, and I was like, "Who does ska anymore?" <laughs> and so I, I, my buddy, he was a big ska fan yeah. back when too. I was like, "Dude, ska!" So we went and saw him blown away those guys have gotten better and better yeah, and better they're so they've good. had a lineup lineups have kind of juggled and changed mm-hmm. a little bit but uh yeah, nothing but quality yeah. and now donnie the the guitarist you know they already had one out mm-hmm. one cd out uh which i might have right here somewhere uh anyhow uh, eat your breakfast was the first one yeah and it was excellent it had some of my favorite songs it was recorded by some professionals mm-hmm. and uh Donnie, band leader, was never quite 100% happy because when you hear them live, yeah, it's it's a, it's a different experience than yeah. hearing them on the album. Like so many bands. They're actually one of the... I personally prefer album music to live music. I know that's basically You're the sin. only person I know that's going to say that. Um, but there are a few <laughs> bands that I prefer to see live, and they're one of them. Absolutely. And now Donnie wanted this one to capture that sound. Yeah. He spent two years on this album. Yeah. I mean, I thought this was going to come out last year. They had a Kickstarter and all this mm-hmm. stuff. He spent two years learning to be a recording engineer. He he met a recording engineer from New York. He was a professional yeah. and who would give him tips. He mixed all this stuff, and then he would learn more, and he yeah. would go back and have him re-record it again and record it again <laughs> until he got the sound he yeah. wanted, and now he's releasing it. Uh, I, I, I follow him on Facebook, and he has some of the best some of the most committed notes on this album yeah. because this means something to this yeah. guy. I mean, if you're working on it that long and, and those are some more people we could yeah. we could probably get a, a couple of the guys on the show. And I don't know if we actually mentioned this just now. They're playing tomorrow at 6 o'clock. At, oh, that's right. Uh, Founders After 5 um, <laughs> which is at Founders Park 6 o'clock. I, I like how it's called after five, it could be any time after five. I always, for the first year, I kept showing up at five. Right, me too. <laughs> and I would be me like, too. "Where is everyone?" <laughs> um, they usually have beer there. Um, oh, right on. I didn't pay attention to that. Oh yeah, they they to, almost always have like yeehaw. I need to wake up. There. Yeah, but, and it's um, so it, you can drink and. And if you've never caught them, you need to see Demon Waffle. You need to see them. It's not just honestly to me. They are, they are an iconic Johnson City band. Absolutely, like, and we don't have never, a lot of those anymore. No, we don't. And even if you've never seen them, you have most certainly seen like sidewalk art <laughs> right. or a poster. Like they are primo Johnson City. When they all you when they all lived in town. Yeah. Uh, they called themselves the Sucky Jazz Band. <laughs> I think that's right. Or the Really Awful Jazz Band. 
and they would play they would busk yeah. in the breezeway downtown yeah. and uh i mean they would busk with with a tuba and a horn <laughs> section it's and it, they were fantastic and now they've They've scattered a lot, and they don't get to play like that a lot. But uh, but do it's if worth you it. have time tomorrow, go see them. It's a free show. It's free. Yeah, and it'll warm you up for uh, what yeah. they got coming, and you want that CD. Yeah. They've actually got a, a really great deal if you buy their CD on uh, their website. You, Demon Waffle sucks <laughs> is where you find them <laughs> on uh, Twitter. Uh, you buy the you buy the digital copy. Uh, come to the show. Uh, they do Demons Ate My Waffle. Demons Ate My Waffles every year. That's their Halloween show. Come to the Halloween show, and they'll give you a physical CD to go with it. Yeah. I just think that's awesome. Well, and, I'm, and I mentioned last week, didn't I, that they did a... Maybe this was their Halloween show last year, but they did a show <laughs> where they were all dressed as different Mortys from Rick and Morty. I bet it was. Uh, I got to announce them one year for their Demons Ate My Waffles. We, we, Man, they, how have not been? I've only done it, I think, three times over the years. And, this, and it started back when they were still at ETSU. They, uh, they would. They wanted a special intro because this yeah. was like the biggest show they'd played at ETSU yeah. in front of the, all the students, and so they have. They would ask me to do a big, uh, like 1994 Chicago Bulls intro <laughs> for each one of them. So yeah. I, I bring out each one of them like like a basketball player, awesome. and they take their place awesome. at their at their uh, instruments. That's amazing. <laughs> it's oh a lot God. of fun. I miss those guys. I don't get to hang out with them as often as I used to. Speaking of Halloween. Uh, let's get back to that talking Halloween stuff. I'm so... I know I mentioned to you. I have the best outfit. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> this year. And I hate that I thought of it so soon because I can't tell anyone. And it's killing me. I just... I have one more thing to get for it. I told right. him earlier that I almost have all of the parts to it. <laughs> and it is killing me. And I just wanted to tell you all... How much it's hurting me not to tell you all I'm what just saying, it there is. is this one thing if you want to try it out. It's not a thing. It's it's just a concert. Oh, lame. I'm I know. Sorry. I mean, I'm sure people will go dressed up you as. You know, I didn't read down. I see it now. But, but oh. yeah, if you look at their poster, it's all like bands. Yeah. I know. Over it. So, I'm glad I didn't I mention it. I know. Well, what's funny is I put interested. I did too. And then I was like. Then I started looking, and I was like, oh, God damn. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. I like concerts, but, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's, uh... Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm itching but to, I... to show and tell people what my costume is. Okay. Come on. No? You're just going to hang out right there, huh? With his little spotty face. He's got a spotty face. He He's got, got, got a the... spotty face. Herbal got into a pine tree. <laughs> By the way, I want to thank everybody that came out to the, uh, the pints and lights and pet on my dog Aww. there were so many locals that were just like this is verbal 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 i didn't know if so many people knew who verbal was and jamie got to meet verbal yeah. and lise met verbal and it's verbal this is a whole bunch of people ran into a great guy uh, chris dyer uh, yeah. came up to me and said he watches the show he had a great yeah. time loves watching the show thank you chris keep watching tell your friends <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, he briefly got to meet verbal yeah, that seemed um, like a really nice. Chris guy. is a Chris is a great guy. He's a uh, he helps with uh, people get houses. He helps that, people get houses. That sound is the dog's head. Yeah, the microphone. And if you hear a panting, that is also him. <laughs> um, oh, there's so many parties going on, Jason. Jason just said my Halloween party isn't happening, so I don't know where to go. Oh, you're going as Krieger. Oh, uh, from <laughs> Archer, awesome. that is awesome. You can um, kill that, Jay. You, that's awesome. I wish I could tell you what mine is. Because it's almost out. in the same vein. They'll find out. We'll, I know. Maybe we could do an unveiling of it uh, when it's almost that time. I know. I'm just, just saying. I do have to fix the wig. I bought a wig today, and it is jacked up. I'm going wig shopping this weekend. I should have I should have sprung for a more expensive one, yeah. but I kind of just thought, oh, I'll just fix this one, they're and I got home, and tricks. I was like, they're tricks. I know. Anyway, uh, other things coming up. Uh, we have uh, b booze and booze. The main Speaking reason. Speaking of Halloween. <laughs> yeah, back to the Halloween. Uh, booze and booze is going to be Friday, October twentieth. That's at Capone's The Vault. That's the yeah, not the main entrance, but you go down the alleyway and there's a, a and, secret door uh, for the vault. Yeah. and that's a YP Tri event. Um, Young Professionals Tri Cities, um, which is a pretty cool. Uh, uh, organization. Yeah. I belong to it. But it's a social 
Yeah, it's more social. social. Like you go yeah. drink with other young professionals, and um, usually people just, you know. It's really it's hanging out and networking. It's a networking it really opportunity. But it's really but it's not like networking in a weird no. way. It's like m- most of, like they have a lot of stuff at the baseball field, like baseball games. Like they just do. You really just drink, and then at some point <laughs> you might go, "Oh, you do that? Well, that's cool. I need that." Right, and then you. I've known them since since they started YP yeah. Try. I was uh, hanging out with them. Uh, the the original YP Try folks uh, had me do Pie Wars. Yeah. Which was, yeah, it was them. the The first year they did it, uh, Samara contacted me, and that was that was the event that I did that showed me that I can be a professional MC. Uh oh. It's got a not sneeze coming. stuck. Oh, it's the worst. I know. In verbal, it, it's, it's, I took my allergy medicine in time today, <laughs> but now it has resulted in half sneezes. Half sneezes. Oh, no. Anyway. Oh, no. I know. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember you telling me that story about uh, the Pie Wars. Yeah, the doing. first, it was a pizza contest where yeah. the all the, the biggest, best pizza places that wanted to buy in <laughs> could uh, compete. Yeah, there was a, there was a, it wasn't an invitational, let's put it that way. You were invited to pay a bunch of money and make a bunch of pizzas. Yeah. Uh, but it was a great time. The first two two Pow Wars I did back-to-back, and then a year went by, and I did the third Pow War, which was a little different. And uh, I don't know if they're I don't know if they're still doing Pow War. I think they did one this last year, because I think someone offered me a ticket, right but on. I was out of town or something and couldn't go. I mean, it's, it's great. It's a great uh, event, because you... Yeah. you, you, you eat a lot of pizza and pick the the bragging give give yeah. one of these places bragging rights for who the best is dj ray said he loves uh loved pie wars oh that's uh, right dj ray uh, was uh he was dj for one or is that right dj ray that last DJ one ray. i think so it was a good time uh we're running out of time oh but we should actually we're almost let's let's do this one yeah next and then we'll get to the other one since Perfect. the other one's not around yeah uh, introduction to Appalachian Witchery and Magic is coming up. Yeah, which is Tuesday, I think. Uh, I think that's right. Or Let Monday. me load it up here. Um, it's, it looks cool. Um, if you've ever been interested in... Uh, I, I've pers- I don't know anything about uh, witchery or magic, but I have friends who are into it. Right. And, um, you know, very fascinating stuff i grew up with a grandma that was always like you know watch for these signs watch for these yeah. portents it'll help it'll guide you it was never it no, was never it's... witchcraft or magic it was just kind of folk wisdom yeah. well and, that's and a how... lot of this stuff ties directly yeah. into that unbeknownst to me and probably unbeknownst to grandma well and also a lot of it at least from what i understand from my friends is a lot of it ties into just um sort of old world paganism right. that is very just er- like about the earth and you know that's as far as i can say without completely messing up <laughs> well, what sa- it is about he says he's going to cover the history of magical folk traditions uh discussing and demonstrating magical practices of the mountain folk exploring the use of herbs oils prayers and divination methods uh, learning how to craft charms uh a ritual to connect the ancestors and the spirits of the land uh you'll uh and it'll just give you the basics to kind of go from there Which, with it honestly even if you're not interested in actually learning witchery and magic just uh, this is you know it, it's it'll bring you closer to appalachian history as, as a, a storyteller an unofficial storyteller yeah. I, i've just grown up telling stories my whole life and being fascinated with any kind of genre stuff because it goes into my work I'm fascinated with it for yeah. the historical side of it, for the folklore side of it. Yeah. I'm a folklorist, I like to think. Uh, there's so much in there to dig into. Yeah. Their first session is October 2nd. It's already full. They've closed it. Yeah. The second session has been opened October 14th. It's still open for registration. Yeah. You can find out more Cross if you class. go to their um, Appalachian Witchery and Magic page yeah. on Facebook. Uh, we'll you share can also that. buy your uh, tickets through PayPal. Um, and it's like twenty dollars, which it's a two-hour class. That's um, reasonable for almost any kind of class. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, try, try try to take a ballroom class or a sewing class for that. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> and I think this is only the tip of it. The Spiritual yeah. Awakening Awakening Community Center on Buffalo Street. I 
I think they're planning a, a long term yeah. commitment to this Appalachian folklore. I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I I might sign up for the October fourteenth if I am really not tempted. out of town. Um, Unfortunately, I'm in Chattanooga that weekend, so I don't even have the opportunity. It's my, it'll be my first weekend here, and my first weekend where I don't have anything in <laughs> like the past thirteen weekends. So I, I might also <laughs> not do it. I was but on the I road do it. for three months and uh, weekends uh, every, for three months, traveling, doing gigs, talking, and then I had a week back and it was so nice. And then last weekend I was gone again and I was like, I want to go home. It's th- this time of year, every year, all yeah. this traveling wears me out, and I just want to stay home and do my local stuff. So you're going to be hearing a lot more from me locally uh, for the next little bit. Uh, let's see, wrapping up in Asheville, the Canon. In Asheville, they have the conundrum. It's a uh, it's escape, an escape room. room, but it's more than that. They have a speakeasy, yeah. and uh, they have uh, uh, completely in the dark dining experiences yeah. and wine tastings. And uh, they're offering the Spook Easy Steampunk Masquerade this year. Uh, that's the Spook Easy at Conundrum. You can find right. out more at their uh, Facebook event. It sounds really cool. I'm a I, I like steampunky stuff. Yeah. Steampunk, uh, steampunk is cool. Steampunk, the only reason I don't think I've gotten into steampunk is it takes a commitment to, like, build the costumes. It really does. It's like cosplay, you know? It's the same reason I don't do cosplay. It's because it's co- super cool. The time commitment the and money, the money commitment. commitment. I'm yeah. like, yeah. But I've, you know, I, I, I'm, you can see my hat over there. With, yeah. I'm, I'm steampunking it up now bit. for my new, uh, that's my new announcing hat for next year. And oh, thank you. I know, I know. I wanted you to click on a specific thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh. I was trying to figure out what this was. Oh, the band Gypsy Guitars coming to Conundrum Speak yeah, Easy. Yep, yeah, they're doing a um, a Django tribute, oh. and I was trying to figure out what that meant. Dress up as your favorite Prohibition era style. Because if it was a Django and Chained soundtrack no, tribute. It, Django Reinhardt is who I'm no. assuming that they're talking about. Uh, one of the great uh, jazz blues men, uh, Django Reinhardt, is, is my guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so sad. Not, not quite so pop culture No. Not the Quentin Tarantino party that's on the 28th, which is the night uh, that all of the parties are. Everything on earth happens on the 28th. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, actually, tonight, uh, uh, I'm going to wrap up real quick. Uh, tonight, Extreme Midget Wrestling is going on right now at 50-50. I thought I'd mention it, but you're watching us, so you're obviously not watching the Midget Wrestling yeah. at 50-50. Unless you're on your phone. Right. <laughs> Which, if you are, good for you. Let us know. Yeah, join, <laughs> become a patron. Uh, opening on opening tomorrow. Uh, oh, here's and there, here's something else I wanted to mention. Uh, horror at the Industrial. Oh, here's Here Verbal. He comes. Here's a boy. Hey, puppy. Say hi, puppy. Here's, here's his butt, anyhow. Oh, his adorable sticks little his butt in the... Butt. <laughs> oh. Ow, hey. Oh, boy. You've been flopped. He flops. <laughs> He's flopped on you. <laughs> uh, this is why we got we run over so often. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh, Emoja Festival. I forgot to mention. Uh, universally Complicated Freestylers. I've talked about Casper the Entertainer before. Yeah. He's hosting them. Uh, 5 o'clock on Friday and Saturday at Emoja. Go check out Casper. I wanted to have him on the show. I could not get my crap together enough to get him on to talk about that. But uh, we are going to have Casper the Entertainer on the show. He's just a good guy. Are you you having a good time, puppy? You, you doing all right? Huh? We're just cuddling. We all are. <laughs> look at this. Just look at that put him. Look at that face. Oh, oh yes. I'm so glad I didn't take a shower today. <laughs> <laughs> Verbal's uh. Take one later. Verbal shedding right now, by the way. So we're going to be covered in like fur, white fur coats yeah. very shortly. Yeah. Fuzzy puppy. I now really wish I'd given you a bath. I know. Uh, also coming up, uh, Horror oh. at the Industrial Park starts this weekend. Yeah. Um, I've seen billboards for them around. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So they're they're uh, they're serious. Uh, also, uh, and they they responded to us last week saying they yeah. hope we get to come by and uh, check it out. Bye, Verbal. <laughs> in Asheville, uh, this weekend is the Asheville Coffee Expo. That's awesome because uh, uh, Stu Helm is doing uh, the Coffee Expo. Local coffee roasters, exotic coffee roasters, it's all about coffee. And uh, 
the Battle of Bluntville Civil War reenactment. Uh, that's an old Hollywood farm in Bluntville. You can find out more about that at thedet.org, the D-E-T.org. And also September 30th, Jonesboro Visitor Center. There's a doll and bear show. That, to me, is terrifying. But you go in, you can see some lovely little old ladies looking at uh, baby dolls and teddy bears. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. I just imagine, like, the weirdest sex show this side of the Mississippi. Join the Secret Society Doll and Bear Show downtown. That's wink, a, wink. I've now got three shows I'm working on. I, that one just came to me. Thanks, <laughs> Bailey. Uh, also, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about this more, but there's really not time, and I don't want to waste too much time on it. Uh, the Lamplight Theater, a Christian movie house mm-hmm. in Bristol, is uh, having a House of Martyrs ha- haunted house. Uh, that's where uh, you know, they talk about the sins, and they then they reflect on the lives of the martyrs and actually make a bloody recreation of some of the martyrs' deaths. I have an, I take issue with s- not this, not this at all. I think this is actually kind of one of the coolest um, Christian haunted houses I've heard of. But there's a lot of those houses that are you're gay, you're going to hell. Yeah. And I don't care about it, but fortunately for everyone else, we ran out of time to talk about that this week. Maybe we'll offend everybody next week. Or in the extra. Or in the extra. That's a good idea. In fact, we're cutting <laughs> into our extra time. Uh, what else? And the last Saturday of October. Now, this is all the way up in Cedar Bluff, Virginia, but the Farmer's Daughter Corn Maze, farmersdaughtercornmaze.com, features the Barn and Balaam Circus. Oh, The last two so weekends bad. of October. That's so bad. I did that just... For the uh, the pun, uh, the Unicoi County Apple Festival, October sixth, October seventh is the ninth an- annual Hellbilly Ho- Hoot Nanny in Asheville. A lot of classic cars, a lot of Hellbilly bands. Uh, October seventh is the Western North Carolina Garlic Festival. Yum. Uh, October seventh is the Drool Party. Paw, I'm guessing that has A-W. something to do with dogs. The Kingsport, uh, uh, the, the Kingsport uh, Aquatic Center opens their pool for dogs. So it's going to be a pool full of puppies. And That's amazing. I cannot wait for that. We'll talk about that more next week. I'm going to try to get a hold of them and find out more about that because I think I'm taking verbal to that. I don't see how I can I can resist it. No, you can't. Uh, October 13th, 14th, Conopalooza, and some other stuff coming up. That's that way in the future. That we get to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you kept going through and I kept being like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to. I just wanted to mention them. Oh, Oh, yeah. Sylvan Esso. Thank you, Jason. Um, yeah, thank you, Jason. Sylvan Esso is tomorrow in Asheville. Um, if you've never... Does she do the song Coffee? And uh, I think she does. She, she's super cool. Um, you can find her on uh, Spotify. She's but, been recommended um, to me many times. I Yeah, I have a good friend who he introduced me to her, and um, she's amazing. You might have heard her on the radio, um, but she's in Asheville tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Jason. Yeah. Uh, DJ Ray says he's up our way tomorrow. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh, Jason confirms yes and play it right. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't just completely talk <laughs> you, about someone I didn't you know. You know what you're talking about, <laughs> Bailey. At least one of us does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, give a yell, uh, DJ Ray. I don't think I have anything going on uh, other I'm than drunk in the gutter. You know the usual. Drunk in the gutter. The usual. Yep. <sighs> Sorry I rushed through all that stuff there at the end, but we're running out of time. It's almost time for the extra. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to shut it down for just a minute or two. Yep. I'll change the name. Uh, you'll need to close out your browsers. Re- and once once we After we've disconnected, uh, close out your browser. When we've come back, you can come back in, and you'll be able to see the new name. It'll say Episode 9 Extra. Yep. You'll know that we're just about ready to go, and we'll kick up yeah. after a short break. Uh, remember, you can support the show in a couple ways. They're both at right now on the live feed. They're down at the bottom of the uh, page. You can j- join us uh, at paypal.me slash hometownjc if you want to just throw us a little bit of money, kind of help us out because this stuff's getting expensive and I'm about to fire up the uh, audio podcast again, which is coming out of my pocket. Don't want to do that. Uh also, you can join us as a patron. Uh, join us at patreon.com slash hometown. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to our show every time we put out a new episode, and it's only the two main episodes, the episode and the extra. Every time we put it, that out, whatever amount you pledge will be deducted. Uh, at the end of the month, it'll take all the money at once. So if we do uh, 
a month's four weeks worth of shows in a month. Uh, that's two, four, six, eight shows. You've you've uh, pledged a dollar. Uh, starting the next month, uh, it's going to take eight dollars out of your account. Yeah. And and eight dollars. That's awesome. Thank you so and much. And it just so, helps us. It, we're going to put it right into the show. Yeah. Uh, try to make uh, the audio uh, podcast yeah. available, which I just really feel drawn to. I feel we need to be oh, doing that. I just found verbal hair in my uh, mouth. Yeah, welcome to my whole world. Uh, we also can upgrade some of the equipment. Like right now, we're using my desk lamp. And, uh, and, a, and a, a... Actually, I can finally go to that uh, terrible shoot. camera. Yeah. I've got uh, I've got the, the, the crap cam crap uh, set up up here. There we go. Go into it. Oh. There we go, and we have a, we have this lamp. You see the lamp, and uh, you can't quite see the yeah, lamp. No, Actually, we're... hold the lamp over here. There, this is it. If you I become a Patreon, you can't see it. But it's a, it's made out of an old Jim Beam bourbon bottle. Yeah. And I look like a go- I look like I've been Ooh, irradiated. Scary, huh, kids? <laughs> there we go. Uh, also, uh, so like, subscribe, share these yes. videos, please. If you hit subscribe right now, if you haven't already subscribed, you'll get a little dancing critter right here dancing in critter. this space. It'll start dancing around like right this now. Little oh, here's verbal back. Critter. It's going to heck. Uh, uh, that's it for tonight, Bailey. Thank you. Uh, Thank let's you, say Tim. let's say we we do this again in just a few minutes for our weekly extra. You know? That'll be out oh, on I'm sorry. that'll be out on Tuesday. Yes. I know this was a long one. Uh, my tie is a '90s computer tie, by the way. And I'm wearing spe- sweatpants. So am I. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks. Let's take a look outside.